Hey y'all, it's Rachel with Mr. Nola's Glitter. I'm on time. What? That's a shocker. Um, of course, I'm going to give you guys plenty of time to hop on. Um, and then we're going to jump into our double-sided sticky tape with, um, with a twist. So I'll show you. Um, let me make sure I have all my settings right up here. So I can see what I'm doing here. Oops, here. Ooh. Bear with me. Okay, here we go. All right. Good morning, good morning. Let me see, so I'm not looking over there, I'm looking over here. I feel like I'm, my eyes are always like looking over there. Well, welcome, welcome. How are y'all from, how are y'all doing with this crazy um, pandemic that's going on out there? I hope you are staying sane. I hope your kiddos are um, not driving you bonkers. And I hope that, um, we have um, not failed them at this Common Core stuff. So yeah, I have a couple friends that are um, trying to do math with their littles and uh, they showed me some of the problems and I'm like, what happened to just like straight subtraction? Like you take one number and you minus another number and you get a third number. Like now there's like a hundred steps to get to that and like I'm thankful that my kids are grown and I don't have to go through that. Hey, 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 hey. All right, guys. All right. Um, good morning. Good morning. So, everybody hanging in there, right? Yeah. With the kiddos. Yeah. I know. Um, my kids are grown, but my daughter is home with her, her kids, so I can imagine. Um, 44 cup order. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Um, New Orleans is crazy, crazy, crazy. Hey, Jennifer, Jerry. Hey, Rose. Yeah, I miss hugs too. I miss hugs a lot. I, I get to hug Mr. Nola, but I'm a hugger. I mean, any, I miss my customers coming in the store. I miss meeting people. Um, I miss talking to them. I miss them being happy when they come in and see all the things. And I just miss people in, in general, um, you know, just people in general. So I wish that everyone would pay attention and just stay home so we can get through this. And um, it's not... Um, eventually we get over it, right? So, all right. Um, put no glitter on them. All right, so let me show you what we're going to do today. This cup is what I did yesterday. So, um, this is what we're going to recreate, but we're going to do it in blue. Um, I love purple, so I did purple. And um, so I'll show you how to do this. And then um, when we're done with the with the part, with us putting the glitter on it, and let me show you how to put the tape on it, I'm going to show you how I finish. So if you look here, um, I've added um, some really cool vinyl stripes. So it kind of gives it a little zhuzhuz. So it's like a little bit... Um, it's like a little bit extra, okay? Like a little extra. Well, at least cats are yummy. I mean, not yummy, like don't eat your cats, but at least my cat is snuggly. So I get I get lots of snuggles and my cat's purrs are kind of like antidepressant to me. I can listen to her purring and it's like, oh, yeah. Yes, stay home, stay home for sure. We are lucky that um, we get to come in here. Um, it, it's just us, so we don't we don't see anybody. Um, occasionally, we have a delivery or whatever. We have to keep the the business part of the online stop open, so we have um, shipments and stuff come in, but um, we don't see people. So we're we are very much, you know, um, quarantined. Thank you. I did them. So these are my favorite glasses. And um, I have started uh, my love of bling. And so this was a fun little project. I was like, let me do my glasses. So they're like color code. They're not um, color shifting crystals or whatever. So that was cool. So all right. So let's get on to it. We got a lot. We got everybody in here. All right. So I'm going to point you down. All right. So this is the cup. I have already started. Um, I've done half of the tape already, okay? 
um, cause it does take a little bit of time. So I kind of pre-started it for you so you don't have to watch me tape the whole cup, right? All right, so we have this. Um, we are going to use, these are the colors we're gonna use. Howling Wolf, Jesuit, Jackson Square, Buku, and Mamba number five, okay? So that is the glitter that we're gonna use. But before we get to that, we're gonna do the tape, okay? So I just wanted to let you, if you wanted to take a little screenshot of that or whatever. Um, let me see if I can get this. You might have to, hang on, I'm gonna make you crazy. Maybe you can see it this way. Yeah, let me work this way so you can watch if it focuses, okay. Oh yeah, that's true, Susan. All right, and then we're gonna be using double-sided sticky tape. So this is a new product in our store. Um, you get this whole pack. There is eight rolls of tape. I could tell you the measurements, but I threw the measurement. I threw the little paper away. Um, but you get a big one. You get a, another big one. You get two of these, two of these, and two of these. So you get eight rolls, and it's eleven. 11.50, I think, or 11.25, something like that. Um, and these are 16 yards each. So um, if you see, uh, I have already started this. So I started um, with the biggest um, biggest piece. You can start whichever way you want. Um, I like to have my cups um, spray painted. So if you have these little spaces, like, because um, we're not... We're, nobody's perfect right so sometimes we have these little spaces so if you use your um if your um your cup is close to what your your the glitter that you're using um you um it's going to be less noticeable okay all right so um i also like to if you've noticed on here i like to um i like to double some of the sizes together um, so I don't I don't make a pattern. I just kind of do it randomly. So if you can see on this cup, this was kind of random. So I have some bigs, littles, a couple of bigs together, you know, um, and then so I just random the pattern. And if you think that your these are too big, that's what I like to use the um, vinyl for is to like break them down even more to make it look like you have even smaller. So you can even make your vinyl smaller than this um, and then divide those little small ones up too. So what I'm gonna do, I have my X-Acto knife um, and see where I left off. I did a big one, so I'm gonna do the small one next. So I thought I had one open, yep, this one. So I'm just gonna peel it off a little bit like this, right? I'm going to, I kind of keep my, um, I kind of keep it all in the same direction. I kind of started going sideways. Let me find out where this is. Sideways over here, so I kind of brought it back. So what I do is I lay it, I butt it up against, see where I did there? Let me see, let me move it down a little bit so you can watch. So I butted it, I butt it up against the last piece and I just follow it all the way around. And I just make sure that it all butts up against each other. When I get to the end, I kind of like lay it over. It's not gonna stick to that because this is like a waxy thing here. Um, and then I just take my little X-Acto knife and um, I see where it's at and I just cut it off like that. And so we'll finish up this cup and then we'll glitter it. So I'll do a bigger one next. Whatever pattern you want to do, that's totally up to you. There's no right or wrong way. This one was already, that one's not open. So you just put the pattern, whichever pattern you want to use. Washi tape would be cool too. I've done washi tape cups before. Um, the trick to a washi tape cup is use heat and it'll get all the wrinkles out of your washi tape. All right, can you guys see that? Or do you need to come a little bit closer? Let 
And just follow it all the way around. Again, I just overlap it and then I take my X-Acto knife and cut it off. I usually leave them open like this to the side so they're easy to grab. Um, I'm going to go back with this little one, which I already have one open. Oh, Jana, my nails are, oh, they, they were very pretty when I first got them done. I have clipped them. I have taken the, um, um, what is that little sanding tool to them? I, if I could figure out, my hands are so bad, um, I would soak them in acetone to get the nails off, but I don't really want to do that right now. Um, I miss my nail girl too. So I think we're all going to be au natural by the time this is all over with. We're all going to be like, oh, well, that's what color her hair is. Jennifer. Um, hey, Jennifer. I see it now. Sorry. Hey, girl. Hey. All right. I'm going to go with a bigger one next. So this is really the longest. Um, this this is the what really takes the longest doing these cups is putting um putting the tape around them but you can do this like while you're watching tv at night and then um glitter it the next day um this doesn't this isn't messy or anything it's just it's just laying it down and wrapping it And so I, every once in a while, I'll just lift it up if I have to, and I'm just trying to make sure I get it as close as I can to the piece before it. Um, Teresa, no, I have not. Um, oh, is he? Oh, see, he waits till I go live, so I can't, I can't get him. Get him? I can't catch him. They're writing you out in here, Mr. Nola. What did I do now? Mm-hmm something about you you doing some kind of shenanigans with the socks uh-huh you've been ratted out i know he's doing something bad when he calls me dear mm-hmm you're welcome. Oh, so Teresa, I have not done a storyboard um, tumbler before. Um, they look really hard. Um, I know that um, Melissa has made one before, but I don't know that it's something that she's ever perfected. Um, I don't know. Eh, sock puppet wars. Huh. Thanks, Ashley. Good morning, Jillian. Let me do this one. So now that after we get this one perfected, I want to try to do uh, another one, but I want to do um, I want to do the tape in a different uh, go in a different direction, like maybe vertical. I seen um, a customer came in and she used it. She did one and all of her, she did all the same sizes all the way around. And it reminded me, I know this is gonna sound funny. It reminded me of, um, you know how you get a roll of vinyl and it's all rolled up and then you can see all the colors at the end. It kind of looked like that. It was really cool. gonna do and then I'll do one more of the other one then we get to do the fun part you guys are not just like watching me lay tape oops sorry about that I have the phone right here 
Patricia, I have I've been doing that too. I do that in the evenings. Um, um, when I am watching TV, it's something that I could do at home. Uh, I don't glitter a lot at home because um, we don't have the space. I mean, I do have the space, but I like to sit um, with Mr. Nola and watch TV. Um, and so when I'm doing the when I'm doing the rhinestones, I can sit and watch TV with him, and we can like spend some time together um, watching a show, binge watching something on TV, and I can still be creative. So I have my little I have my little um, rhinestones table set up uh, in the living room. It's got me a little light on it and all kinds of little stuff. So I just set it to the side when I'm not using it, and when I feel like being creative at home, that's what I do. All right, so we are done. We are done taping it up. It does look like a mommy shirt. The peace loving, peace loving Mr. Nola's. I think they are. Oh, I, I am, I am a baby. Um, I'm a learn. I'm, I am a very, very, very beginner at the rhinestones. So, um, I could possibly do um, a what not to do video tutorial on that. But I don't know if I'm, if I'm, um, if I'm proficient enough to do a tutorial on that. So, all right, good morning. All right, so like I said, these are the colors that we're gonna use. I'm gonna give you a tip when you're doing this. You always, just like with anything else, you always wanna start with your darkest color first. Um, so white will always be last because um, I seal my I seal my glitter before I put white on it. Um, and then that way your darker colors don't muddy up your white. So the white is the last thing, okay? Spray seal after you do an alcohol ink tumblers and can you use gloss spray paint when you hydro dip? Um, WV, yes, um, I do. I Sometimes I just use, um, if I'm inside and, I'm, and I don't wanna go outside, I just use Aquanet hairspray. Um, believe me, it works. Just a little, just a light spray and then use the heat gun. Um, but yes, I do seal, I seal my alcohol inks. Um, and you can use any kind of spray paint you want for hydro dipping. Ooh, that'd be pretty. All right. So let's see. Maybe you guys need to watch here. Here. All right. Let's see. Okay, cool. So the order that I'm going in is going to be Howling Wolf, Jesuit, Buku, Jackson Square, and then we'll seal and then do Mambo. Okay, so I don't know if we'll do the whole cup, but I'll show I'll show you guys um, the gist of it, and then we'll finish up, and I'll show you how to finish them. Okay, uh, I have a little <clears throat> my little pokey pen thing um, it has a little pokey thing on it, so I use it to peel off uh, the tape. Okay. Maybe they're not on there, Susan. I'll have to check. So what I do is I just use my little pokey pen thing and I will take off all the stripes that I want in the first color. And don't stick it to your paper. Don't stick it to your paper. All right, so I want that one. What is your, um, we're in the United States. Hey, Wendy. I want this one. I'll do this one. So I'm just randomly peeling off sections that I want done with that one blue, that first, the first color. And if you have any lift like this, I don't know if you could see that, I just take the tip of my pen, push it down. And then um, if you have any pieces that were, you would use tweezers. Let me show you the right way. Um, it's a weeding tool. I 
I got it many moons ago. I don't even know where I got it from. So we're looking into carrying them. But it's um, a weeding tool. It's got a, you can, there's a tutorial how to make them with pencils. Like you just use a sewing needle or whatever and um, put it in a pen. But yeah. Yes, a pen thing. Yes. Oh, yes, Jennifer. All right. So the first one I'm going to use is Howling Wolf. Um, I'm not going to pour directly out of this shaker because th that gets crazy. So I just take my, um, if I have them in jars, I just put a little bit in this little cup and put it to the side. I also have a big fluffy brush, paintbrush, um, that uh, I use to remove the excess glitter after I've um, put it down. Hi, Sherry. So this is just like you would glitter anything else. I don't rub it in, I just tap it down just to make sure it's sticking to that tape. You could do this any way you wanted to. If you want to do the tacket method, you could. That would be kind of cool. It won't give it the same exact um, the same exact look as the tacket, but you could get it pretty flat. I just tap it down because I don't want it to go anywhere. Just tap it, tap it, tap it. And then I just turn it around. And then I'll do the next stripes. And you can see that's getting glitter all over the other tape or whatever, but you haven't pulled that. That's why you pull one color at a time. So it's not, <clears throat> excuse me, it's not um, messing up your tape. And then I just use this paintbrush, which I'll show you, uh, how to remove the excess. And when you go to the next color and you don't have to worry about it, cross contamination. Yes, Michelle, if you look at the if you look at the post, um, you'll see a picture. I, I always post a picture of what I used so you can take a screenshot. So if you want to save it in your phone to go back and buy later um, or see if it's something you already have in your um, stock. But yes, um, when I get done with this, I'll also put it in the description so you guys can have it if you're not in my Facebook group. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up this glitter. First thing I'm going to do is remove whatever trash was in there because I don't want to contaminate my glitter. All right. Alrighty. And then I'm just going to take this paintbrush. And remove all the excess glitter. I'm not necessarily rubbing on top of that glitter. If you if you do, that's fine. I just don't want to, um, I'm just trying to clean off the tape in between so it doesn't contaminate it when I move to the next one. You can use whatever kind of brush you have or um, a floofy something or, this is double-sided sticky tape. Most people, um, if you're a scrapbooker, you probably already have some. People like to use it um, instead of glue and um, for, for embellishments and stuff like that. All right. And don't contaminate your scene. All right, so we have that color, right? So, we will move on. Thanks, Haiti. All right, so then the next one I'm going to do is the Jesuit. So I'm just going to peel my tape where I want those stripes. that one for the white 
you guys see I'm trying to hold it at an angle so you can see These fingernails is driving me nuts. I can't grab anything. There we go. And if you get a little bubble in your tape, don't worry, just press it down with the end of your pen. Hey Meg, how are you? All right, and let's do this top one with the Jesuit too. I love that color. All right. I just use the end of my pen because you don't really want to touch it. You want to make sure it stays sticky. Okay. I'm going to set that down. I'm going to put my Jesuit and my, my cup here so I have control. I kind of try to do two stripes at a time. I don't know who ratted you out. Hey, Melissa. Was it Melissa? No, that's the wrong Melissa. That was the Melissa that um, was at TumblrCon that, that taught my class. Hey, girl, hey. <laughs> Mr. Noel said, hey, girl, hey. She did the um, rustic patina class. So Mr. Nola said next year he's taking classes too. He said he's going to outcup me. That's what he says. We'll see about that. <laughs> He's a mess, all right. All righty. This is messy. Hey, Jillian. This is this is like a color shifty blue. Um, it's super pretty. It's got some blues. It's got some greens in it. All right. So then we'll clean it up. Oops, totally missed that section and that section. I thought I went all the way around the cup. There we go. Now I did. I'll re clean my lines. I don't, 
recommend doing that at home because you're going to get glitter everywhere if you blow it off like that. Hi, Nikki. Um, yes, Rachel, we do ship to Canada. We have lots of Canadian customers. All right. Oh, my gosh. I'm, I'm making a mess. Okay. Now, put this back in here. Put that down there so I can wash it. Try to keep my mess clean-ish. All right. Next color, we're going to do Buku which is a light, um, like a cornflower blue. Yeah, he is. Hmm. Oh, Megan, you could do it. It was really fun. <laughs> All right, so the next one, so I have three colors left. Let's see, I wanna do one here. That one's going to be white. I'll do this one here. And there's no rhyme or reason to which ones I'm picking to which. Um, I just know for some reason I want this big one to be white. I only have one big one on here. And I want you guys to see how cool the white air. Oh, why is it not in focus? Hello. Back here. Okay, um, how cool the white iridescent glitter is um, on a painted surface, as if you don't already know, but you know, just in case you don't. And then stick that down. All right. Nope, I think I'm gonna leave the bottom plain. I left the bottom plane on this. Um, I might put a decal or something at the bottom, but I think it's okay. You could definitely do the bottom if you want to. Yeah, probably not a cool thing in the, in the live, but if someone wants to message you afterwards, that's cool. Yeah, my, my my floor looks like a disco ball too. So I will try to do all of these at one time since this shaker is shaking everywhere. I don't even see where I have it. Okay, here we go. Oh, this cup is gonna be so pretty. I thought I loved the purple one, but I think I might love the blue one even more. Yes, thank you, Robin, for asking. Ooh, baby. All right. Let me pick up this glitter first so I don't contaminate it. Vicki said, does it really matter the size of the glitter you use? Um, it does not. I find my personal preference when I'm doing this is either a 15. I would rather all 15s. 15 is a 0 0.15 is like my favorite cut glitter. It's um, small enough to blend really well, but it's... Um, Tammy, you can get it at MrNolasGlitter.com. You can pick it up from our store. It's a brand new product we just put in our store yesterday. 
Um, but I like the 15 because it actually, um, it's big enough to kind of see very well, but not too big that it doesn't behave itself, if that makes sense. Oh, look, look at those colors together. I'm super happy with the way it looks so far. Now we're gonna add some cool stuff. So the next two we're gonna add are iridescent glitter. So they're actually gonna be some like trickery to that. All right. Hi, Rhonda. How are you hanging in there, love? Thank you. All right. This is a messy craft. I mean, I'm messy anyways. Oh, the baby blue one is Buku. It is such... This is like original um, glitter colors from two years ago. Still beautiful. Um, Jill, I pick up most of my glitter, um, before I shake it off and, um, I don't sweat those types. I, like I'm, I, my whole life is contaminated one way or the other. Um, we teach classes and most of my glitter stays contaminated. So I don't sweat it. I just, I just, I, I'm weird about the whites, but other than that, I don't sweat it. All right. So the next one. You know, you know what it is. You know what it is, Jackson Square. So let me find where I'm going to take this off. I'm going to do one here. I'm going to do one here. And if you've watched me um, long enough, you know that's pretty much my um, my take with everything. I um, I don't I don't sweat I don't sweat it. I try not to worry about the things that um, like bubbles in my epoxy stuff like that. Oh, because it's a double sided sticky tape. So this is not sticky anymore. So when I put that color on there, I started with the darker color. When I when I put the color on there, it stuck down into the tape. It's not going anywhere. Take this one. And this one. All right, now I'm just gonna tap down my little sticky tapes that were poked up. Um, I don't know if this is an, an exact one. I actually picked this up from um, my friend Nicole. She used to sell them, um, but it's my favorite weeding tool, so. I don't, I don't know if it's, I don't know if that's exactly what that's called. Um, it's a weeding pen. That's what, that's what I call it, a weeding pen. So I'm going to show you guys, I'll do a tutorial how you guys can make these with just um, uh, stick pens and pencils. So... And actually, they would be pretty cool because you lose them by the dozens, and that's what I'll do. I think my friend um, Beth showed us how to make them before, so I'll have to go back and see if I can find the tutorial and uh, make some. Hello, Mr. Jackson Square. He never disappoints. 
So if you notice, this is an iridescent, like a gold blue iridescent, but we're putting it on a dark blue base. So it's gonna change the look uh, completely, but it's gonna fit with our color wheel. Start moving up the cup and doing the other lines. Jackson Square is one of our top selling glitters. We've had it for almost two years, and um, most people, when they use it, it's like using it for the first time. It's one of those glitters that you can use it on a bunch of different bases, and you get a different look every, every color that you use it on top of. So it's like one of those glitters that you get a lot of bang for your buck. And look how pretty it is on white. See it like purple and gold, and it's like gorgeous. You get a lot of you get a lot of color out of this one um, this one container of glitter. You get a lot of colors. If you put it on if you put it on a black face, you get a beautiful green. All right, so then we're just gonna clean up our spot here. And before I do this white, I am going to spray paint these other glitters because I don't want this to move at, I don't want these blues, these dark colors to move at all. So my, my spray is in the other room. I'm gonna go grab it really quick. And um, I think my, I'll show you what I use. You're gonna be like, you use what? All right. <laughs> yes, all right, hold on one second. Let me go get my spray, guys. So my little tip, I've told you guys a million times before, this is what I use to seal my glitter. This is an old Mardi Gras crew hack. Um, this does not dull your glitter and it does not bother your epoxy. It doesn't, doesn't make your epoxy cloudy or anything like that. Um, yes, Ron, it'll be in the description when we get done. Um, so. I am going to spray this, not right here, I wanna put it over here, but I'm gonna spray this because I don't want any of this glitter to get anywhere near my white when I put my white on, and this hairspray is going to keep it from doing that. So I will spray it really good with the hairspray, and then I will take my heat gun and dry it really quick. So give me a few minutes. I will, let, I will put the colors down here so you guys can see what I used. If you wanna take notes really quick, you want to do that we can do that can you see that nope can you see it up here and jesuit all right one second guys i use aquanet it's super cheap and if anybody used this in the 80s, you know your hair don't go nowhere and neither does your glitter. So look, I have I have sprayed that whole cup and it has not lost its sparkle. All right, I'm just gonna dry it really quick. And it takes like literally 30 seconds.
your glitter is dry. That blue stuff is not going anywhere. So I'm going to clean up my mess here so we can do the white. And then I'm gonna show you how I like to finish them. Oh yeah, it is, um, it is a dollar a can. Dollar a can at Walmart. Um, I've tried every other kind of hairspray. I don't like anything but this. Uh, this dries fast and it is like super don't move, it's going, yes. Yeah, I don't use a torch. I don't use a torch. I wouldn't use a torch now anyways. Yeah. All right. So now we're going to do the white. So let me find my beginning. Starter. Dun, 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 dun. down where it's doubled up. Get that piece out of there. You're not going to be disappointed in Jackson Square, I, I promise you. All right. So now we're going to take Mambo number five. So it is a white opal, but it has shifts. I don't know if you can see. It has shifts of like blue and green. Um, yep, pretty much. Yeah, I think there's only, I think this is the only one they have. This is what I use, the extra super hold. And it's literally 97 cents a can. Yes, go look, um, Melissa, if you look at the, where I made the post, the original post yesterday, I took a picture of all the glitter that I used on that cup too. All right, so. Now, we are using this Mambo number five on our quote unquote white stripes. So the cool thing about this is because it's an opal, it's not gonna be like totally white. It's just gonna pick up the shifts in there, which, and it's gonna pick up the color of the spray paint that I used. So it's gonna pick up a lot of blues, a lot of purple, and a lot of green, which will match with everything that we have on our cup. That Jackson Square is throwing a lot of gold and a lot of green. Well, let me pick this up and then you guys can see it. Oh. Um Yeah, maybe uh I've I have rave um I've used it in a pinch. I just really my preference is um the Aquanet. The rave to me is like a little wet. So it doesn't dry as quick. Um but yeah. All right, and now I'm just taking this brush. I'm gonna do a final brush. Make sure that's all stuck down there where it needs to go. And do a final brush. And there we go. Bazinga. How 
How gorgeous is that? Now, you see what I'm talking about with this um, Mambo number no. 5? Do you see how it's like picking up blue and purple and green? Yes, this cup is spray painted a dark blue. I didn't do the bottoms. On these, I don't do the bottoms. But I, I do use a color that's close to my color palette that I'm using. So I used blue for this because I had blues. Um, this one I used purple because I was using purple. Okay? Isn't it gorgeous? Like, there's so much depth in something like this. It's super simple, but you get like holy moly a big old bang for your buck right so that's cool that's gonna be gorgeous you put a decal on there perfect right well let me show you i take it just a step further let me clean my little section off here this is contaminated so i'm not keeping that um so let me show you what else i do so i um so this is so this cup is this cup just epoxied, right? And it's, of course, it's a different size cup, but you get what I'm saying. All right, so what I like to do this is I like to find um, a, a vinyl that I like, which I found this one is really cool. I know that um, Cricut vinyl is like not uh, a fan favorite, but this is a Cricut premium vinyl. Look how cool. I picked this up at, um, where did I get this? Uh, Joann's they had a sale buy two get two free so I was like oh that's cool I love pattern vinyl so what I did is I just cut a bunch of pinstripes right the darkest blue is howling wolf or Jesuit I don't know which one you're talking about that was the blues on the cup all right, so I just cut um, a bunch of, um, I got glitter on it, of pinstriping going with the grain of this vinyl. Cause see how it has like these lines on it? And um, I just added it to um, a couple of these stripes to just give it another little dimension. So I'll show you how I did that. So I don't use transfer tape or anything like that. I just pull it off. I started all in the same spot, right? Right where my tape line is because I'm gonna put my decal over here. You can't barely see the tape line, but. Mr. Nola, what are you doing? And so then um, to make sure that it's, oh, straight. I, I can't, you can't be, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> What are you doing? Wearing your socks. That, those say old guy. That's your sock. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh yep, my yep. gosh. Oh my gosh. You are nuts. Yeah, I'm not sure what it's called. I don't have the wrapper anymore. Um, but it come with three three different colors. It come with the silver. It came with the blue. I'm going to use the blue, of course, on the blue cup. And then there's a gold. Mr. Noel is a nut, all right? So, yeah. Um, but yeah, so I, let me move this paper so. Um, so I find where I wanna start uh, and then I put it down and just like I do with the tape, I butt it against the other color because I know those lines are straight because, you know, tape doesn't lie. So. I will just follow it all the way around. And I'll lift it if I see it's going wonky. Can you guys see that? Mr. Nola's nuts. And then I just run it over and then take um, my X-Acto knife. And cut it off. And I'll do one more. Just to add a little bit more dimension or depth. Just that you don't have to do that. It's just, um, it's just a little bonus type of thing, you know. 
So we'll grab um, another and we'll do one more and then we will wrap this up. I will spray, I will spray this one more time with um, hairspray before I put it on the turner with the epoxy because I don't want any of those colors to um, party with anybody else. Okay, and let's see, where's my starter? We'll do one right here. Take my exacto, cut it off right there. So there you go. Type in, um, just type in tape. You should type in tape, and it'll it'll bring it up there. So that's just another little kind of way to make it fancy. Um, I might try to put another piece down here, but this is still kind of rough. So um, I probably won't. Um, you know, it's not totally, it's not totally perfect, but um, that one coat of epoxy did make it smooth enough for me to do decals. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> so there we go. We have this one. We have this one, the purple one. This is the one we did yesterday. And you can see how cool the um, vinyl you could just pick a pick a colored vinyl that matches um, or that um, accentuates your look. Yes, I will. Um, I'm going to probably put a name or something on here too or decal. So um, it will definitely, um, it'll have another coat of epoxy on it. Yes. And then this one, um, when uh, I will seal this one with um, hairspray again. And then um, I got this one, this blue one that has the same like little laser lines in it. And I'll do that over this, this one as well. Um, I just cut it with my, I just cut it with my silhouette. Um, they're nine and a half inches long. And I did three different sizes because I wasn't sure what size that I wanted, but I'll do something else fun with these. So. All right, guys. Any more questions? Oh, yeah. It, as soon as I'm done, I'll go ahead and post the video. Um, and when my niece gets here, she'll make sure to add all the um, all the information and everything. But, um, yeah, so everything will be listed. I'll list the colors that I used for the purple one and for the blue one. So you can have them, if you're not in our Facebook group, um, you can have them both there. Um, if you've liked this video, please give us a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't already, if this is your first time watching, thanks for hanging out with me. Uh, if you like our channel, um, go check us out on Instagram. We're about to launch a huge um, promotion with Sculpty. So um, good over there. Go like that. Go like us over there on um, on Instagram and you could win a, an amazing, amazing prize pack over there. And um, come check us out on Facebook. We have a huge group. We have a lot of talented people and uh, we have a lot of people that love to share their talents. So thank you so much for hanging out. Um, yeah, I could do that. I'll, I'll, I'll do that. I, I have another pair of sunglasses that I want to do, so I'll definitely do that. So I'll do, I'll, I'll stress out some, um, some, look at my little, look at my little um, bunny, my little peeps bunny. Yeah, so I'll do, I'll do my, I'll do my sunglasses and do it on a live so you guys can watch and see how I do that, okay? All right, guys, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.